Can you believe me, the so-called flip man, has been leaving $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 checks on the table each month because I haven't been doing this? It stops today, and I'm going to share with you how it is going to stop today. Stand by. Let's get it. Hey guys, before we get into this video, I want to make sure that you're clear on what you're about to listen to. Is that I've been leaving money on the table because if you just think about it, using direct mail, you're going to be able to target a segment of the real estate ownership market that owns a lot of real estate. And those are individuals that are 55 and 60 years or older. Those individuals still read every piece of their mail. They watch the news, they read actual paper newspapers. So if you're not using direct mail to target those individuals, you're doing what I've done periodically is leave a lot of money on the table. I haven't been consistent with my direct mail. It stops today. Join me, watch this video and learn how you can stand out from the competition in your market by doing it the mail to flip way. Hello guys, this is Ty, AK, The Flip Man, and today I have my folks over at REI Print Mail, AKA Mail to Flip, and I just wanted to simplify things for some of you all as far as trying to place your orders, why you should place your orders, how much, what type of budget you should start with, all of that. And I have two of the experts there at, at AccuPix, uh, Ryan and Heidi, these guys were uh, uh, kind enough to do this short notice. And what we're going to do here, we're going to go through some important uh, or some reasons why you should be doing direct mail. If you're not doing it in, in, in large numbers, you're leaving money on the table, as I have done peer, periodically, but no more. Uh, I was uh, fortunate enough to uh, visit them a few days ago, and um, they invited me up. And it's one of the best business trips I've ever taken because I've learned so much and how much bread I've been leaving on the table. So with all that being said, guys, how's it going? Very good. Thank you for inviting us, Ty. Great. Thanks, Ty. Yeah, and we had a great time when you came out. What a wonderful trip that was. Dinner was great. The laughs were fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, just to get right into it, guys, um, uh, Ryan, uh, if you could tell who you are, and then Heidi, you can tell who you are, and then we'll get into some uh, more questions and answers to uh, maybe uh, help these individuals that are watching this particular video make some money. Absolutely. So, hi guys, I'm Ryan, um, and I am in a, a, an account specialist and direct mail specialist, uh, Graphic Connections Group. And so I all day long work with real estate investors on direct mail campaigns. That's all I do. So um, ultimately, I give advice, I consult, um, talk about best practices, how not to waste money, how to make as much as you can out of your marketing efforts, and um, just in general, uh, try to look out for pitfalls um, and things to that nature. And uh, that being said, Heidi. Hi. I'm Heidi Gang, and I do some of the same things that Ryan does, but I coordinate um, your direct mail campaigns, and we'll work with you to fit things into your schedule, take it off your plate, make it easy so that you don't have to think about what it is that you're doing, you're just marketing continually, and we're taking care of it on this end, so. Okay, um, starting with just a basic question, why should someone use direct mail? The easy answer ties to uh, make the phone ring. So either way, no matter what you do, um, you're going to pay for marketing efforts. If you're driving for dollars, it's going to be gas. Um, it's also going to be in a form of time. Um, and so ultimately, as we, we find that as people progress through their real estate career, that they um, lean more and more on direct mail to make the phone ring. So. Um, 
if if your phone's ringing and you can get good at the at the setting a meeting effort and you can get good at the closing effort, um, then then your business will flourish. And no matter what business you're in, you're in the business of marketing. I mean, uh, that's just that's just a fact. And so um, as soon as you start stop marketing, then that that starts to uh, make your phone stop ringing, which that's going to be a problem um, no matter what. You know, 90 days after you quit marketing, you'll notice a slowdown. There's just no doubt about it. It takes 90 days to ramp up. And then as you, you get there and you continuously market, um, then the phone rings more and more and more often. So success in making the phone ring. Okay. Well, um, when I was there um, and we were putting my uh, – uh, campaign together, uh, we brought Heidi in because uh, I wanted to know what, what as we turned the big boys or the big players were doing. And so, Heidi, if you could just share, um, uh, maybe just short notice, but you probably just know off the top of your head, uh, of, of a success story of an investor, real estate investor that may have started with a uh, significantly low budget, but a scale to what you may call one of your big players as far as what they spend on a weekly and monthly basis as far as direct mail. Well, yeah, actually, we, we've got a guy that um, came in under Ty's URL, and uh, he's not one of the bigger heavy hitters, but it was interesting because he only had 100 names. And I said, uh, you know, you got to get this list up. We don't want to take your money. Um, so here's some thoughts on how to go doing that. And the next thing you know, he ordered 500, then it was a thousand and his most recent one was almost 4,000. And, uh, the phone has been ringing off the hook. So he's done really, really well. As far as the bigger guys that are sending out, you know, 20, 30, 40,000 pieces of mail a month. Um, they've had success to a degree uh, with their campaigns, but they have come on board with us and have tried some of the newer products that we have. And some of these guys have gone from a 0.03 response to a 1.25 response. And uh, that's huge um, because they were making money getting a response at 0.03. So you can imagine the kind of money that they're making now, um, now that they've, you know, increase that by 400% or so. So uh, it's been really exciting and it's going to watch people for a hundred and then come back in two weeks in order to 50 and then maybe they're up to a thousand and um, we just work with them and so we get them to the point where they can, uh, you know, quit their day job. <laughs> and, and can I add some to that time? So what we, what we do here is um, uh, we, we, find out what response rate they're at currently and then we especially when they're what she was talking about a newcomer that would that would come in and say i already do a lot of direct mail but i'm not getting i'm not getting a, a great response rate i want to work on that well that's what we are we're partners in the response rate so we're a results driven company so ultimately what we really strive to do is say where are you at and then where do you want to be and then how are we going to get there and generally that includes a b testing different products especially our new proprietary products you know like uh, the gc power mail and acupix um but we we a b test so they come to us with something that's working and so you know when when something's working in marketing you don't just want to throw it out so then we take that and then we we tweak it just a little bit we may add gc power mail we may add Acupix, and we run a test side by side. We see how well both work or w which one wins, right? And then we take the winner, we move on to the next A-B test. And then that's how we continuously increase that response rate, which is invaluable to your bottom line. Okay, and speaking of the products, and uh, obviously the product, product that I promote, and uh, this is only the first time uh, seeing me uh i branded under my name or whatever which uh obviously gcc is okay with but it ends up with them but uh mail to flip and that's basically taking advantage of someone's attention uh well taking advantage of a picture to get some an owner's attention and if you don't know what we mean by that i don't know if you guys have uh any samples there to uh to show of um one uh of a postcard but basically, that would be an owner's property that you're that that you're targeting. It's a picture of the house that you're saying, "Hey, I want to buy it." 
And the hardest thing to do with direct mail, because you're trying to stand out from the rest of the pieces of, ma pieces of mail that they're receiving, not on, let alone the other uh, real estate investors that are targeting those individuals, you're trying to get their attention. So someone looks at a piece of mail and say, wow, these guys are sent a picture of my house. Well, what's going on here? So it just increases your, your response rate. So uh, just, let's get, get into the, I guess, the normal postcard versus the AccuPix postcard. So we have, uh, especially on reiprintmail.com, uh, as you can see a, a bunch, uh, when you go there, you can see a bunch of different options. So we have filtered through what's been working, what's been hitting. Um, right now, a lot of handwritten postcards that look like they're handwritten. Um, are hitting really, really well. The, the yellow and the black, but what we call bumblebee card, is hitting very well right now. Um, they do not have to have AccuPix on them, which is a picture of the receiver's house um, on the actual mail piece, um, but it, it could be just a handwritten message um, that looks handwritten that could say something um, like, I really, uh, me and my family really want to move into your area, and, um, and um, we're, we're really eager to buy your property. We could buy it cash today. Um, we'd love to set up a meeting and talk more about it. <clears throat> something really simple and personal um, like that works really well right now. And you can see um, a lot of those at the um, reiprintmail.com uh, and following um, your link, Ty. Okay. Well, um, the, the next thing we want to get into is um, uh, how uh, to just simply place an order and the different options that you sit, uh, that you can select. But also, uh, and don't let me forget it, is that uh, Heidi, you could probably speak to this also, uh, as far as a starting budget, which you mentioned the guy started off with 500, he escalated to 1,000 to 4,000. And just to give some type of idea, which there's a calculator there on the site, which you'll see in a moment. But uh, Ryan, if you could go ahead and share your screen, and uh, we can get into how to uh, place an actual order. So we can see here, so this is, uh, this would be your link. Um, that is, uh, if provided, you just click on it. If not, you can kind of um, uh, take it down now. Um, but ultimately, uh, what we do, uh, once you get to the REI print mail, and is, oh, we have to log in. We've already logged in. Um, so you can see my login name right there. Um, but uh, the first thing you have to do when you get there is create an account, just like any other account. You're going to put a screen name, you're going to put your name, you're going to uh, pick a password. And then once you do that, you're here. So once we're here, um, you can see our new, uh, th this is uh, the AccuPix mailers over here, uh, is the GC Power Mail. We have some special offers up here on some package deals. You always want to check out what's at the top of the screen because we get very aggressive with our deals and our new products. Um, I wouldn't just scroll past. I would take a read, take some time, take a look, um, and let that kind of hit home, especially with our new product uh, with the, the texting option that captures the cell phone there, GC Power Mail. Um, but if we wanted to just place an order, we come down here to step one and... Let's see, what are we starting? Let's start it, can we start at 7.50? Because I want to show the difference in between the price. That's a, yeah. good, that's a good place to start. So we can start here at uh, 750 units, right? So after we put that quantity in, we're gonna go down here and we got the next choice. Now, each different choice kind of leads you down a different path. If you go letter, you have to pick the type of letter, not only that, but you also have to pick um, the envelope um, and, and, and other items that are associated to a letter. Um, one of our most popular items right now is postcard. We're going to go ahead and go down that road. Um, so why don't we pick here the smallest uh, postcard, just for an example. We're going to click that there. Then that brings you down to some of the options. So we have AccuPix mailers, um, which is the picture of the receiver's home. We have motivated sellers, different versions of it there. Um, that are just your general card without the AccuPix. And then as well, um, we have a cash buyers. If you are trying to get in touch with people um, to buy your property, um, and then delinquent property messages um, right here that, that may be late on uh, a certain items also could be uh, changed. We could change any of these designs, personalize any of the designs if you speak to uh, the, uh, me or Heidi um, easy to do and there's of course a custom option we go up to one of our most popular cards right now that's hitting 
very, very well in pretty much every situation um, is right here, APC1 S. I'm going to click that. And just so, so uh, that oh, everyone knows, yeah. that picture of the photo that's going to go on that postcard um, is going to be the, the photo of the property that you're interested in. So if you're contacting an absentee owner, it's not going to be the owner's <coughs> property. It will be the, the property that they own. It will be the property that you're looking to acquire. So that's the, uh, that's the image that will be on there. That's a good, that's a good point. Well, well, well those, uh, um, I forget, would, would the image uh, blow up if you select one of them? Uh, oh, yes, absolutely. If you want to see one closer, thank you. Boom. Right there. So we can see now this doesn't have our GC Power Mail product, which would be here below, um, but uh, phone number here, um, the, the uh, property that you are interested in here, and then the message directly to the owner. So, and as you can see, we can even look at, let's look at one of the, um, this, uh, oddly enough, this, this card, it, it does very well too. So clearly attention getting, um, looks handwritten and it looks uh, like you've highlighted some things. Um, this one as well. So if we, once we pick our card, uh, let's see, once we do that, it's gonna automatically bring us down to here. And so um, it's starting, we, we've started recently um, to make sure and not, uh, not be able to select the things that, that are going to throw you down the wrong rabbit hole here. So it's only letting you select white there and color here. After we select those items, we hit continue. I'm going to let Heidi speak on postage. Very, very important. So when you're doing any kind of direct mail, the size of the postcard and or letter is going to determine the postage rates that you will be allowed to have. When you are doing small postcards, uh, the least inexpensive and fastest way to get a small postcard is actually first class pre-sort. Um, that is pretty much the only one that's, that's going to be used for a small postcard. Uh, when you start getting into larger postcards and letters, you do have other choices for postage and transit times. So uh, postage will vary and uh, you will have to have certain minimums in order to qualify for certain rates of postage. So, but they're all explained underneath each piece and um, really easy to understand. And uh, so that, that, that shouldn't really be a problem. But for the small postcard, you can do first class pre-sort, least expensive, fastest way to go. There is a, there's one, there's one other reason that you might use a canceled, a, stamp. A, a canceled stamp is if it's a handwritten piece and you're really trying to convey that this was a handwritten piece uh, and somebody took the time to write a personal postcard and send it in the mail, um, it kind of, uh, it, 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 it hurts the whole look and feel to have an indicia. So you may want a stamp or a canceled stamp. Um, the, the stamp. Uh, an original first class stamp is more expensive. Um, we can do that. Uh, it's significantly more expensive. However, we do have a first class pre sort stamp with cancellation option that looks like a real stamp that has been canceled, um, and uh, that that has uh, the same effect, but um, a cheaper price. So, I'm gonna click here on the first class indicia, and then it gives you your total. So we can see here. Now we're at 70 cents each, and that is including uh, 27 cents in postage. Um, this is an AccuPix product, so it has, the, um, it has the picture of the home that you're interested in on it. Um, has our quantity here, the size here, um, and then ultimately, if we, and this is really what I wanted to highlight, here's a really interesting part. If we see this right here at, at 70 cents, and we see we're at 750 here. If we were to change that, so here's the amount, 524.25. If if we change that to 1500 and click over here anywhere on the yellow, this changes. Look how much that drops. Yeah, it goes from 70 cents a piece down to 0.53. So look at the tremendous difference 
and the per piece rate for only a couple hundred bucks more you're literally getting out twice the amount of mail so you know it, it quantities matter in this business so it's really important and when you talk to us we talk you through that right we we, we talk about is it really worth it? Is it really worth your time? Do you want to you want to save up and come back um, next week and, and really get more bang for your buck? Because inside of that extra 750 pieces of mail, all you need is one deal. And that'll finance your marketing for the rest of the year. So there's something interesting. Am I missing anything else? No. So, so when you finally have chosen on your quantity, you're going to choose the date that you want your your uh, mail to drop. Yeah. And, Howdy. Uh, Howdy. Before we go into that, um, yeah. Uh, part of the purpose of this, obviously, is they want to uh, get the initial, I think the first order, they can get the 10% discount if they, you know, yeah. go through my channel or whatever, the mail, right. or whatever. So, so after you choose your mail day, you can put in Ty's coupon code down to the left, um, and that can be your next prompt after choosing your mail date. And so uh, he has his own coupon code, and that'll give you 10% off of your printing. Not the T T ten. Is that still it? T T ten. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. T T ten. T Ty Taylor. Ten. Zero. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's it. If it, and you can continue to check out, or you can add an additional mail drop to that. Um, and when you go to check out, oh, picking the mailing date some people find it more important than others and they tend to want to um, land at certain times we didn't talk about that um, a lot of statistics point to middle of the week we don't know why marketing is a funny funny game but a lot of statistics point to dropping in the middle of the week some people find that it doesn't matter some people find that um, that it does and that they absolutely need it so you can pick your uh, mail date there and hope oh, that I get it too close to the. It, is it the so if you choose a date there, is it the actual mail date that is sent out or an anticipation? Yes. Okay, so yep. so if you, if you think it's going, and I guess there's no way no because it depends on where it's going. Number one, um, so if someone sent out something today, which is a Friday, uh, October twelfth, um, maybe they will, it will hit the middle of the week. Yeah, I would say early parts of the middle of the following week. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. So so if you're trying to hit the middle of the week, so what would be the better days? Probably Friday or Thursday or Friday? Yeah. 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 Okay. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And then if we go ahead and continue to check out, can we show them here? So this is where the uh, one of the final steps um, this is where, and I think there is one more collection yeah. after this, yeah. Uh, so this is where you put in your information, your website, your company name, the email that you actually want on the mail piece, the telephone number that you want them to call, special instructions to us that won't actually be shown on the, on the uh, or is that, is that special instructions shown on the card? Yeah, special instructions are things that you might want to change on a particular template, and sometimes those are subject to do an additional fee. Um, but more often than not, we can make that happen without having to do that. Um, you know, you want to change something slightly or move something around, we can, that's where you would put that. And then the rest of your imprint information, like your return address, uh, any website or email that you, you know, you want to show on that card. And each card has a different set of things that you will put on there, so uh, you'll know what to put. Yeah, and uh, can't, um, can't stress enough how important it is to make sure that this section is very, very correct. Um, especially, you know, if you could imagine only having a contact phone number um, on your postcard and you being off by one digit. It may not be something that um, us or our staff can catch. Um, and, it, and ultimately, we, we do test numbers. Um, if for some reason one or two bad things happen on an order and, and, we, and we get the wrong number on there, um, it, it could mean no response. So this is really, really important to not rush through this section. Um, nine here, also very important. Um, explain that. So in step number nine, it's going to allow you to upload any kind of files that we will need for your order, which is always going to be your mailing list. Um, if you're using your logo 
if you're using a letter, um, we will too need a list. We will need your signature, uh, any files that we would need for that particular order. Usually it's just a mailing list that we get, so that's, that's you know, and a, and a logo. Uh, so those will probably be the only two options, and it'll give you the opportunity to do that in step nine. And then the next step is just to confirm that everything you have is correct. And then you're going to place your payment information in, and you are good to go. Back, back to the logo really quick. Uh, uh -huh. what, what format would they need to send that in as far as the resolution or file size? Yeah, the, the logos uh, ideally would be a 300 DPI PDF. Okay. Uh, the other thing is, as far as the mailing list, I'm assuming they'll come in Excel or what is it, CSV or CDS? Yeah, yeah, yeah a CSV. We've gotten Google Sheets lately, and those are CSV. CSV. So, yeah, and each particular uh, part of that mailing list has to have its own cell. So the name has to be in one cell, the, the physical address, the city, the state, the zip, everything has to have its own cell. Um, and you can always call us if you need help, or we can send you a sample of what one should look like. And we can actually help with um, um, the mailing list portion. If you don't have a list, uh, you can talk to us about that. We do have access to lists. Uh, we can work together on filtering down a list and targeting a specific area. Um, and uh, other than that, logo design and things like that, we have the ability to do as well. Okay. All right, um, so the payment information, they would um, fill out that obviously That's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so once they make their payment, uh, just take us through the timeline on what to expect next. So the payment's going to come through, and you're going to receive a confirmation, and then we should have your proof to you within 24 to 48 hours. Um, once that proof is approved, we will print and ship within three business days. So in a perfect world, you can order on a Monday and it's going out the door on a Friday. Okay. All right, that's pretty cut and dry, guys. Uh, I wanted to, uh, the experts to take you through the actual site, uh, share some of their insight on um, why uh, you shouldn't be leaving this money on the table, as I said, as I've done periodically, because I, I haven't been consistent with my pain. I've made money with these guys. And, and still wasn't <laughs> consistent, but no more, no more. So uh, again, guys, is anything additional you'd like to share with uh, everyone before we, um, we we check out of here? I, you know, I, I didn't mention um, our GC Power Mail product that much. If I could, I'd just like to go over it just really quick. Oh yeah, we, yeah, I forgot about that, I'm sorry, I'm yeah. sorry. No, it's my, I, I should have mentioned it. Um, so GC Power Mail is a new product. Um, we're, it's about seven, eight weeks old. Um, and what it is, is at the bottom of a postcard, um, we have a, um, a text prompt. Let's see, make sure we can see that there. So just a text yeah, uh, prompt. Remove, remove your share, uh, Ryan, so they can see it. How about that? Boom. Okay, so as we can see at the bottom, and then also on the back, we have as well, uh, a, a small a text code, small short code. And so what it might say is, um, it might say something like for an offer um, to, or to see how much um, uh, I would offer to buy your home, text uh, one, two, three, four to A, B, C, D, and, uh, and, and I can give you a cash offer today. Uh, personalizable message, you could say anything that you like, but it's important that it's, uh, it gets the buyer to become, or the seller to become curious and text that code. Once that happens, um, the really important immediate thing that happens right after that text message is that you, the marketer, uh, actually capture um, that prospect's cell phone number. The cell phone number is the number one thing that we want in marketing. It's the hardest thing to get and, um, and sometimes illegal to call. But in this case, it's not. They opt in by, by sending that text message. Um, so once you capture that uh, prospect's cell phone number, it comes to you in an email. And it also is attached to your list. So it might say something like John at 1142 Floorville Lane, uh, just uh, text for more information. Um, here's a cell phone number. So you or your sales staff could call uh, immediately. They could call John and set a meeting. And in this game, it's important to get there before others. Very competitive. Um, the second thing that happens is that John gets a text message on his phone. 
and it's a personalized message from you that might say something like, hi, John, um, I'm very interested in meeting to see the house. Um, I'm in the field right now. Me or my assistant are going to contact you shortly, um, and uh, we can't wait to meet and, and, um, and get a look at the house. Of course, that's completely uh, customizable, but what you've done is then prime the customer for a phone call, and then when you do call, they're happy to accept it, hopefully, and, and set a meeting before anybody else can get there. So um, that is our GC PowerMail product doing very, very well, by the way, very well. Yeah, as far as the terms of numbers, um, uh, with the time frame that you've had some of your uh, 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 larger uh, direct mailers to use it, uh, what type of uh, increase have they uh, generated as far as the, the response rate? Right, so we, we, we have a client, um, and they're out of Texas, and she has done uh, five campaigns um, using this uh, GC Power Mail, and um, <laughs> the, the, she sends out about 5,000 units a week. And the first time she did it, I think she got almost 36 text messages within 24 hours. And so I emailed her and said, so what do you think? And she said, well, it's a little overwhelming, but in a really good way. Um, and she did two more uh, mailings, and she did about one point two percent and she was at less than a half percent before so she's done very very well so much so that uh in her text message she uh used a name of an assistant that she didn't have um but now she does <laughs> she yeah. actually has two has a real assistant now, um, so, she so she's know. had to uh to go from answering th these messages herself to actually hiring two more people to use it so it's working really well for her. It's working well for a lot of people. Um, you just have to have the, the, the bandwidth to be able to handle the responses. Very important. Very important to be able to have the bandwidth. You know, you can pay the money, you can make the phone ring, but then when it does, are you doing the best practices to make sure that the rubber's going to meet the road and the money's going to hit the bank? Super, super important. And to point out, I think that that customer, the 1.2% was just the text messages. Yes. Yes. That was just for the text messaging. We um, have not uh, had reporting um, by oh. some of our clients who have beta tested with this on that. So that's just texting. Yeah, that's not including the phone calls that people just picked right. up the phone and called the number. So, and she was already doing a half a percent doing that method previously. So we can probably safely say she's at 2%, if not. Which is huge. Yeah. Big it's, deal. It's, it's, For those numbers, it's, it's yeah. Big. Explain to them what that means. When people hear one percent, half a percent, quarter percent, uh, mm -hmm. explain to them what it means because it may not sound like a lot, a lot, but right. in the theme of of this business, a direct mail, and you're dealing with a high dollar product, like we are with real estate deals. Explain to them what that can can mean as far as money, which uh, Jeff explained it to in an interview that he and I did, which it'll 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 air in the next week or so, I'm sure, but. Explain to them what that means, if you will. Yeah, sure. So if you if you're doing a four thousand, if you're doing a, a four thousand piece mailer and you do a half of a, a half of a percent, even if that's over um, um, a, a a course of a month or a certain amount of time, you're getting phone calls. So that that you know that needs to be that that should be clear. Uh, but uh, the the industry uh, standard is anywhere from a quarter of a percent to half of a percent. Uh, we love to take people from that to the to the two percent, and hopefully, um, like in the case that I, Heidi was talking about, even better range. And and when you're talking about smaller numbers, you know, we'll have somebody that'll you know call us and they want to do a hundred cards. That means that they 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 have to hope that even. 1% is going to call, and that, that one person that calls are going to have to make that deal. They're going to have to. And so if you take that same formula and you take 100 cards or 200 cards or 300 cards and you take that same percentage, half a percent times 0 0.05, and you take that down, you get down to half of a deal if you take that same formula. So it's really important to not end up to where you go, gosh, um, I may not get anything on this. And it's best to even not spend your money. Um, to save it and then really target it really, really well. 
Um, so be really careful about just shooting off 100 pieces. Now, there's a targeted list. Ty, you had a pretty great story. Uh, when you were here, we were in the conference room about sending out um, a really, really unique mailer to a short list. That's a different story. When we're talking envelopes, when we're talking postcards, um, you know, you, you need it needs to be statistically valid for you to send out um, those cards. I, I recommend to my customers a minimum of a thousand. Every every rep, every manager has a different, uh, not everyone, but, but but some of us have different ideas than others. I personally say if, if you're not sending out a thousand, statistically, it's going to be hard for me to break that down and tell you, hey, you have a good chance uh, of getting a couple deals. Well, wow, there are the numbers, guys. So uh, again, I really appreciate uh, Ryan and uh, Heidi sharing uh, this knowledge and, and how to actually place your orders uh, along with just some nuggets there to just to, to make sense of all of this and why you can't leave the money on the table. Um, but you may hear me say this in the beginning of this video or whatever, uh, the way Jeff, which is the, uh, the CEO president of, uh, of the company there, uh, he explained and said, um, you want to be obviously doing multiple things as far as marketing, but uh, you think about it, a lot of people that own real estate are 60 years and older. And if they're like my mom, which is in that, you know, older than that, they're going to read every piece of their mail, right? Because they don't have anything else to do. They're going to read the mail. They're still going to read a newspaper and they're going to watch the news. So you need to get your message in front of them. It, at least that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to highly recommend and the numbers just play out, guys. But you have to be consistent with it. You know, if, you, if you're going to do it, you have to have a game plan, a budget, whatever that is, and stick to it. Yeah, this is a marathon, not a 40-yard dash. So, again, okay. um, guys, I really appreciate you all uh, uh, giving up your time on, on this Friday. Uh, I know it's time to go home now. <laughs> I'm getting close to it. Uh, but, again, anything else you guys would like to share? No, that's it. Just, yeah. just don't give up. Get started. Don't stop. Just tell yourself, what do I want to make? Yeah. Do I want to make $10,000 in a deal? Yes, I do. How much am I going to spend to get there? That's yeah. all you got to keep in mind. How much would you be willing to spend? People buy lottery tickets all day long. They get nothing. <laughs> How much would you spend to make $10,000 or $7,000 on average? How much would you spend? One, two, three, probably. Um, so just think of it like that. You have to spend something to get something. So it's about the upside. Yeah. It's about the upside, not the expense. It's important. Um, yeah, no, that's it. That's all I got. Thank you for having us, Ty. We really appreciate it. Uh, no problem at all, guys. And we will see you all on the flip side. Bye. Take care. See ya.